Greetings everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News, and we have news that over one million gallons of contaminated water has been evacuated from the East Palestine, Ohio train derailment site. Stand by for details. Around 15,000 pounds of contaminated soil and 1.1 million gallons of contaminated water have been evacuated from the site of the train derailment earlier this month in East Palestine. This was per uh, Norfolk and Southern Railroad. They said this on February 20. Now that announcement came shortly after a state senator warned people living in close proximity to the derailment not to drink or bathe in the water. Now Norfolk Southern said that the evacuated contaminated soil and water will be transported to landfills and disposal facilities that are designed to accept it safely in accordance with state and federal regulations. The railroad went on to say, additionally, a series of pumps have been placed upstream to reroute Sulphur Run around the derailment site. The Sulphur Run is a, uh, a river that flows around that site. The affected portion of Sulphur Run has been dammed to protect water downstream. So uh, this stuff is being taken away. This contaminated soil, this contaminated water is being taken to sites, unspecified sites, that will safely contain it. Now, where are these sites? What am I missing here? How dangerous will this be to the people around the sites this stuff is taking, being taken to? Excuse me. I don't know. It just sounds like moving part of the problem from one place to another place. Now keep in mind, a week before this derailment, a thing called My ID was made available to residents living in East Palestine. It's a biometric device, kind of like a device that you would use to monitor your heart rate, etc. When you were exercising, was issued so they could keep track of people's uh, health in the area. And so they say that EMS workers could uh, get an instant look at a person's condition it's similar to what you would wear, again, to monitor yourself, your, your vitals, while exercising. Why was this issued to residents of the area if they wanted it a week before the train derailment? It makes you think like we're living inside of one large, oh, I don't know, simulation or drill. The timing of that is just, uh, it's not coincidental. It's, uh, it, it's, to me, it sounds deliberate. Anyway, uh, this is a situation that is going to continue to haunt us, my friends, and who knows what is going to occur today. And please remember, the Word of God is written in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, which says, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Press in, my friends, press into the power, glory, and salvation of Jesus Christ. And no, no fear. Jim signing off until the next time. God bless you.